What's the word, y'all? I hope y'all staying safe out there, man. Because I woke up this morning, it was negative 2 degrees. I'm like, okay, that's terrible, of course. It said it felt like negative 30. I went out to try to shovel some snow and got choked up out of air like six times. I couldn't do it. So I hope y'all staying safe for this holiday season. And here we are talking about NBA rumors because Chris Hayes put together an article yesterday that said Trey Young could be the next NBA superstar to request a trade. Also in this article, they talk about DeMar DeRozan could also do that this summer. I guess we can hit on that. I think we as NBA fans are so in love with the idea of a superstar player or requesting a trade to get a trade i'm guilty of it hell i got a whole gaming channel with the premise of my gaming channel is making trades to win a championship is what we do but but we got to think about how often we make these things happen first of all shout out to chris hayes um i just realized that trey young is is a clutch client and one thing that we know about Chris Hayes is he got connections to clutch clients. Also, in this article, it says a rival executive believed it. So, like, these are conversations, but they not really. But we going to hit on that. We as NBA fans have this infatuation with NBA players who are star to superstar caliber players. Just moving on to the next team. If they have three to four years of no or little success and you want to know how true that is i'm gonna go through just the top teams in each conference and we gonna have conversations about it the milwaukee bucks before Giannis signed this extension everybody was talking about the fact that Giannis might move on to his next team he won a championship signed an extension and people were still talking about how Giannis's next team could be this jalen brown was 23 years old on a good Boston Celtics team, and we were still having conversations about, hmm, can Jay LeBron coexist with this guy? This guy, should he be traded? Uh, the Kevin Durant one, he, he wrote that himself. <laughs> it wasn't really the NBA fans that did that for you, KD. That was you requesting the trade. But there we go, having a conversation about Kevin Durant. It is so bad that two weeks ago, this man, Joel Embiid, went into an interview and said, Sixers fans, they want to trade me. Me and you know this is not true. But Joel might genuinely believe that Sixers fans want him traded because he might have heard a little yapping in an NBA discourse. That is where we are as, as a fan base, as viewers of the sport. So when I see a report like this that Trey Young might be the next superstar to be requested, I'm be honest with you, I'm kind of drained. I'm, I'm kind of drained with it. Because the Hawks have so much going on right now, this is the last thing they could potentially need. Just random rumors for basically no reason. First of all, the season has been going as well as you wanted to. You're 500 team. Secondly, Trey Young took a month and a half to get out of a shooting slump, but recently he's been good. DeJounte Murray missed time. John Collins missed time, and he's having one of his worst seasons of his career. Clint Capella is out with an injury. Nick McMillan and Trey Young got into it a couple weeks ago. Travis Slank got demotivated. Is that the word? He got demoted and Landry Shamit Fields, I'm sorry, Landry Fields got promoted. That is seven different things going on with the Atlanta Hawks right now. Currently, we don't need to add Trey Young might be wanting out, like just a random hypothetical. And again, this is all rooted in a rival executive in attendance at an NBA G League's winter showcase. But again, Chris Hayes is connected to clutch sports. So, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not out here about to start drawing Trey Young trades because of this report. Trey's pops came into conversation after Kevin O'Connor made this tweet. Trey Young's an elite playmaker, but has shown no willingness to excel off the ball next to another shot created in DeJounte Murray. And he's a small defender that gets targeted by offenses. A ton of teams already have good PGs. A genuine question which teams would really want Trey? I'm a big fan of Kevin O'Connor's work. I've been on his podcast, um, met him in real life, got his phone number in my phone. The, the last question, which teams really want Trey Young, is kind of crazy because Trey Young is damn good. Yeah, of course, every player's got their flaws, and his flaws are defense, or like he mentions, doesn't want to excel off the ball, but he's he's still Trey Young. And a lot of teams would be interested at this, just to sniff Trey Young. You know how many small market teams would love Trey Young? Even if that means they never win a championship, just having Trey Young on the roster for, for jersey ticket sales and just to have an all star caliber player every single season. A lot of teams would be interested, and I'm not here to say this is the package that they could potentially get, but these are the teams I think would be interested in Trey Young, just right now, just looking at the standings. The Miami Heat would love Trey Young. The Toronto Raptors would love Trey Young. The Washington Wizards, the team that had never blow it up, would love Trey Young. The Clippers would love Trey Young. Again, I ain't out here trying to put together Trey. Honestly, they don't have the assets to do it, but you ask it, who would genuinely want Trey Young? The Clippers would. The Minnesota Timberwolves would, would die for Trey Young on their roster right now. I mean, and if we being real, the Lakers, I mean... Uh, Trey Young is really good. You know what I'm saying? That's six teams right there. And that's just, that's discounting all the teams that are on the rebuild. Like, the Orlando Magic probably wouldn't be interested, but 
they're solid right now and you're saying that we can add trey young we already got some good defensive pieces on the back end i'm just saying there are a lot of teams that would want trey young the new york knicks i know they're in the midst of the biggest oh they lost the other night they were in the midst of the biggest win streak almost ever for them and he's the king of broadway he would you know what i'm saying anyway trey young's pops got it to it this is what sucks about pro ball these days although i like having stuff and there's an article on trey young like this just because rival execs believe something Trey Young doesn't talk to other teams. He's busy trying to win in Atlanta. Will this ever end? I'm looking through uh, Rayford Young, Trey Young Sr. Ooh, that sounds weird. It's tweets. And he seems like a very genuine dude from just the few tweets I've read of him. Basically just saying it's all good. Uh, I'm surprised anyone pays attention to me. I'm just an old head who loves NBA hoops. He seems like a genuine guy that loves the game of basketball. And of course, above all, loves his son. Um, but I think he makes a very good point about like how the hell would these rival executives have any idea what was going on in the mind of Trey Young and his camp. But then again, they're connected to Clutch Sports and Chris Hayes wrote this article. It's all over the place. But until the Atlanta Hawks express that they're interested in maybe moving Trey Young or until Trey Young himself says, I, this is not is enough. I'm OK with not drawing up fake pseudo Trey Young to this team trades, especially since hypothetically, let's say Trey Young does request a trade this offseason. Dude, the Atlanta Hawks don't have to do it. Kevin Durant requested a trade six months ago. Was it that long ago? Maybe not. They didn't do it. And he's playing some great basketball, and the Brooklyn Nets look good. Once you sign that extension as an organization, you don't necessarily have to just do what the player wants you to do. You sign the name on the dotted line, my boy, and you can hold out, and that, that causes problems not just for you, but for the entire league, especially a player of his caliber. Ben Simmons set out for a season. I know he was going through some stuff as well. But then it got the player association and the actual NBA talking about stuff that, like, we can't have this happen. If you are healthy, again, that Ben Simmons doesn't look like he was healthy. If you are healthy and you're under contract, you show up to work. I do believe it's interesting that Travis Slank got um, demoted and then Landry Fields got called up to be the, the guy that's in charge of the basketball operation stuff. I don't know how much titles actually matter in all of the grand scheme of nba player movement and team building stuff um but travis slink had an idea for the roster i just don't think he executed it perfectly but I i'm giving him a decent you know grade for effort like he said once he came into a return well he didn't say this really they he wanted to build the warriors 2.0 around trey young obviously trey young and steph curry are dramatically different nba players but he he went out and got defensive minded players to play around trey because he believed that trey young wouldn't ever be a plus defensively another underrated thing about steph curry i mean he's obviously not a lockdown defender but the fact that he is at least a competent defender helps like like crazily try to get shooting try to get good defenders i understand the roster construction that travis slank went out with over the last couple seasons i don't know what the vision looks like for landry fields I, I, people are already speculating about the john collins trait now because travis slank couldn't find an actual deal that he loved enough to to move john collins and maybe landry fields does it even if that means losing value but they're just so done with john collins being on the roster which i could understand i mean somebody been in trade talks for basically three seasons and it still ain't happened you know what i'm saying you hope that it happens eventually the demar Rosen one is way more interesting than the trey young one um considering again trey young signed it's a big extension and he's under contract for so long demar rosen has this season and next season under his contract and if this is a real thing again we don't know exactly what the sources are for chris hayes here demar rosen not a clutch client as far as i know we don't know the source is to say this is it just the fact that the bulls are bad so we just put in two and two together demar rosen being 34 years oldish and wanting to win a ring eventually might ask out if there is some real life crumbs here it makes sense for the chicago bulls to sell him now wow he has he's at the peak of his powers because as soon as we get to this offseason you're trading a player under contract for just one season means that you're you're muting your assets so if this is potentially true the bulls have to make a decision um revolving around him and the decision would be to trade him sooner rather than later so whatever you get back is amplified the bulls are on a two-game win streak and they play against the knicks today it's it's in the bulls nature to um to start winning basketball games out of nowhere it's fool's goal ladies and gentlemen it's fool's goal let me know what you think about trey young potentially wanting out whatever the hell that may mean 